Hello, my name is Sarah Hardy and I'm the director of the De Morgan Museum here at Cannon Hall in Barnsley. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to the newly refurbished De Morgan Museum, which opens on the 27th of September. In this display, as you can see, we've been quite bold with some of our colour choices to really bring out the colours in these fantastic artworks by Victorian husband and wife artists, William and Evelyn De Morgan. I think you'll agree that the pink is maybe not what you were expecting and we wanted to use that colour to show you that these are perhaps artists who were doing things that you also weren't expecting. William de Morgan was a ceramicist in the Victorian period but when he married his wife Evelyn he wasn't the ordinary husband. He allowed her to continue being a professional artist, something which she was already very well established in and he even went as far as to support her by becoming the Vice President of the Men's League for Women's Suffrage in 1914. I'll show you one of the artworks that they supposedly made together. We've got a wonderful bust of the god Pan, which apparently Evelyn de Morgan modelled and her husband William applied the glaze to. So we've got a real collaboration between the two artists in this piece. Pan was a fertility god, and something we don't know about the De Morgans is ever, whether they ever wanted to have children, but we know that they didn't ever have any. We wonder if in making this together, they were hoping to make a better world around them by having children, or indeed at least hoping to. And that's one of the general themes of this part of the museum, is the De Morgans' hope for creating a better world. William De Morgan was a really generous employer, he started paying sick pay to his employees 80 years before that was made statutory. And he really cared that his pieces were handmade and hand designed. And often on the bottom of some of these ceramics, you'll see the initials of the people who made them. And this allowed him to keep close to the arts and crafts principles of William Morris, who he knew. I'll take you and show you some more of the pieces by William de Morgan. So something else you might not be expecting is this fantastic drawing uh, of an antique sculpture called The Wrestlers, which is at the Royal Academy today. William de Morgan made this whilst he was a pupil at the Royal Academy schools. So he learned to be a fine artist before he went off and made the ceramics that people perhaps best know him for today. What this does is show us that William was primarily an inventor, really keen on looking at different processes and different projects in order to create beautiful things. Directly underneath this, we have the lusterware ceramics, which he became really well known for. They sparkle in the light because he's used metallic, either silver or copper oxide in his glaze. So when this is fired at the critical temperature, the finished piece glows with this beautiful glistening light. And William de Morgan was basically renowned for having reinvented that process in the 19th century. And potters today tell me that he is still unsurpassed in how good his ceramics were. I really hope that you'll enjoy visiting the New Look De Morgan Museum and that you'll be able to learn a lot more about the De Morgans, their artwork and the world in which they lived.